Okay, welcome back. Now we're going to go ahead and solve this problem. So, let's do it. Now, the area, the problem is that we've got the area equals 150 minus 2x multiplied by x. Okay, now you can think of that if you like. If it makes it easier for you, you can call it y equals 150 minus 2x multiplied by x. Okay, so I'm going to keep with a, but um, just to let you know that the a is just a, a letter. Okay, so we're going to go with this. Alrighty, and what we want to do, remember we're trying to maximise the area and find the corresponding value for x. Now, I want to emphasise something right now. Because we're trying to find the value for x, um, it doesn't mean we don't, in this case, let a equal 0. Do not let a equal 0. Because we're now talking about a real problem here, and we're not trying to find the x-intercepts. We're trying to find the coordinates of the turning point. We're trying to find the maximum area. So if, you're, if you say let a equal 0, you're then forcing the area of your playing field to be 0. And, um, and that's a nonsense, isn't it? So we do not let a, a equal 0 or y equal 0. Um, what we do is this. We're going to actually have a look at the problem. We're going to actually do a sketch of the parabola. And by looking at the sketch, we can more carefully see, clearly see what we want. Now, because of the way we created this problem, or, or sorry, we created this equation, it's already in factored form. And so it's going to be quite easy to draw a quick sketch of it. So the first thing I'm going to do is find the x-intercepts. Okay, so our x-intercepts. Now to find the x-intercepts, now I'm going to let a equal 0. Okay, so I just want to find the x-intercepts first. So, and using of course the null factor law, then either x equals 0, well there's our first intercept, or, or 150 minus 2x equals 0. And if that's the case, then that implies that 150 equals 2x, therefore x must equal 150 divided by 2, which is 75. Okay. So we've got our 2x-intercepts at 0, or oh sorry, 0 and 75. Now, we suspect this is going to be a negative parabola because it's a maximum problem. But let's just confirm that. If we expand that, it gives us a, a, a clearer picture of what sort of parabola it is. So I'm now going to expand the equation. A equals 150x minus 2x squared. And right around the other way, A equals negative 2x squared plus 150x. Okay. So what we could do... Um, we can have a look at that on the parabola, oh, sorry, on Desmos, just to see what we're dealing with. So it's y equals, and when you're using a program like this, I'm going to use y, y equals negative 2x squared Plus, I think it was 150x from memory. Yep. Plus 150x. Okay. Oh, okay. So let's now zoom out a bit. Okay. So, oh, we can see that our parabola is topping out. Remember our vertical axis, y stands for the area. So the area... Our maximum area is going to be 312.5, and look at that. It occurs at an x value of 12.5. That's the coordinates of the turning point. So that's the shape of our parabola. And let's just check the... Um, 
Oh, sorry, that's the wrong. Apology, that should be 150x. 150. That's okay, that's better. So, sorry about that. Um, okay, the area is quite large, we can see. All the way up to here we go. So, 2812.5, and it occurs at an x value of 37.5. So, the width of the rectangle has to be 37.5. And the area, the playing area you get is 2,812 square metres. Okay, now let's see, first let's check out our x-intercepts. If they, yep, 75 and 0. All right, so let's see now um, if this bears out with our calculation. Because of course you're not going to have decimals on your test. So, we now know that the graph will look like this. We now know that the, the sketch will be a parabola. We know that that point there is going to be 75, 0. We know this point here is going to be 0, 0. And That point there is going to be the coins of the turning point, the maximum. And the turning point, remember the number of ways of finding the number of ways of finding the turning point, the x value of the turning point can be basically determined in two ways. The first way is to simply note that it's halfway between the x-intercepts, which will be 32.5, okay, exactly halfway between this intercept and this intercept. The other way, of course, so just, just by, in, in other words, visually, the second way is to use the formula negative b over 2a, okay, and if we use that formula, um, remember our equation was expanded equation it was negative 2x squared plus 150x so in this case we can see that a equals negative 2 and b equals 150 so negative b over 2a is going to be it's going to be negative 150 over 2 times a, well 2 times a is 2 times negative 2 which is negative 4, so it's going to be 150 over 4 which is 32.5. Okay, so we've now worked out the dimensions of our rectangle. We know that the, the width has to be 32.5 this has got to be 32.5, of course. Now, to work out the length, that's going to be 150 minus two lots of 32.5. And um, so that's going to be 150 minus 75, which is 75. Okay, so the length's going to be 75. To work out the area, well, that's just a matter of just multiplying the length by the width. And once again, that would also be the y value of your turning point. Because remember, in this case, this is the area of the rectangle. All right, so that's what quadratic modelling is all about. And that's a typical sort of problem. So hopefully that's helped. Okay, thank you.